sweater? Out of trunk in my closet, where I have hidden trinkets and ancient treasures. I collect things. I mean, we all have addictions. Colorful things, silk, cashmere, cotton. Now that's kind of what my closet is. It's, just like, it's like a time machine, for real. Like you hopped in the DeLorean, you're there with Doc and McFly. I don't plan on giving anything away, except recipes. Let's go. <laughs> Car smells like black ice, basil, and deceit. What's going on, everyone? Nah, I don't like that. That was, that was kind of weak. Like, Mayhem Levren, shrimp palm on steroids, munchies, we out here. Shrimp palm on steroids is just really shrimp palm kicked up. I mean, I just have a long history with shrimp in general. Shrimp is near and dear to my heart, so this is just like a creation, like something I felt like giving back to the shrimp community, to be honest. We're gonna start with the sauce. The sauce is important. If the sauce isn't up to par, the dish isn't up to par. It's pointless to even serve shrimp palm without an amazing sauce. The base of the sauce is simple. Garlic and olive oil, we're gonna start with that. Here we have about 10 cloves of garlic. We're not gonna chop them up. We're gonna let them cook, become tender. We're gonna smash the garlic with the fork, you know? Kinda like a, a paste. And we'll build on top of that. I'm actually into multiple palms in one. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this because we're focused on shrimp, but one of the best things my mother ever did, she used to make chicken and eggplant palms. We have uh, fresh oregano. We have dry oregano. To be honest, the reason for doing that is simply because I'm not into giving up on the past. So I used to only use dry oregano, and then it's like, okay, now I met fresh oregano. Yo, it's the best smell in the world right here. I don't want to completely disregard my past life. We, we built something, so it's like, and I meet somebody a little better, and then it's like, oh, act like I never dealt with you? Like, no, I don't do that. Then we have um, fresh basil, chopped parsley, bay leaves, cayenne pepper, which isn't really a normal ingredient, but like I said, we're on steroids right here, so that's how we're moving. And salt, sugar, and garlic powder. Okay, so as you see, I threw some fresh tomato in there, fresh tomato, oregano. There's no particular order on how to do this. I cut these a little smaller because there's uh, no rule book. And I felt like cutting them a little smaller. You know what, I'm cutting this one in half. It really doesn't matter. Bang. You're gonna tell me that's not fire? I like doing the same thing to uh, the fresh tomatoes that I did with the garlic. I like to cook them down a little bit, give them a little texture, a little personality before I just blend them in with the other tomatoes. Basil. We go heavy on the basil, I'm into it. We just rip it. Don't ever put a knife to basil, that's disrespectful. A little fresh parsley. You can put a knife to parsley. You can put a knife to most things, it's just basil's to be ripped. Oregano. I never gave up on you, kid. Cayenne pepper. I might add more than this a little later. It's great that I don't have a spoon. I'm mixing this with a fork, by the way. No, I'm not complaining, I'm just showing how I, I get things done. We use what we have. Now. We're gonna throw in the canned tomatoes with the help of a fork. Not that I really measure anything, but we'll measure the salt. I don't like to go crazy with salt. Why? Because salt is the black man's kryptonite. All right, so we're gonna, oh, steroids, crushed red peppers. We're good, it looks like a lot, but there's, there's a lot of sauce right here. It'll be spread evenly, it's, it's not too bad. That's kind of like one flake per teaspoon. But I forget, garlic powder. Yeah, it's a different flavor, but it, it's a different element too. Like it kind of changes the consistency somewhat. It thickens it up. And I got that from a man who uses fresh garlic and garlic powder when he makes mashed potatoes. So I took that jewel, put it on my chain, and applied it to something else that I'm doing, you know? I mean, I put a pinch of sugar in now, just because. amazing. We can let this cook for a while, give it a taste test and um, see what needs to be added or adjusted, if anything. Now I can start getting it cracking with these shrimp. Phase two, the, uh, the, breading, the breading process. Actually, I don't know. So I should cut these first, right? Rewind. We're going to cut these first, then we're going to bread them. We're not going to bread them with a shell on them. Yeah, just cut them down the, cut them down the middle. It's easier to peel that way also. You pull the vein out, or whatever that might be. 
And you see his butterfly perfectly. I'm breaking eggs because that's phase one of the process, of the breading process, of the procedure. Oh man, I got a little piece of shell in there. And that's how easily a problem is fixed. Everything's not the end of the world. We got the sauce fork and we have the other fork, the universal fork. 360 with the wrist, boy. Now I'm gonna tell you a secret. Come hither, Jack. That's it. Adding just a splash of uh, milk during the whisking process doesn't do much of anything. I just wanted to break up this sequence and show the back of my sweater too, so here we are. For some people, when they uh, bread things, they'll egg dip, flour, dip again, breadcrumbs. That's not like too much of a coating for me. We don't really need to do that. Shake a little flour in here, mainly breadcrumbs. Wait a minute, these aren't on steroids. Had to fix that. Oh my. Here's what we're doing. We dip, we dip, and we place. It's just a light, flaky coating. You don't want to go overboard with the breading. Like I hate that when you go someplace and you get something breaded and you're like, yo, where, where's the actual uh, shrimp or chicken or whatever it is under the breading? Like, nah, not in my kitchen. Now back to the frying process. Traditionally, people deep fry. We don't have to submerge anything in oil. We can just flip it, give it a little tan on each side. You don't want to overcook it because we're putting it in the oven after. And you'd have a overcooked shrimp, and who wants that? Not me or any other member of the community. We're gonna find our trusty fork, utensil of choice. I like to bring attention to the fact I'm still using a fork. I give it a quick wash while this is in the oven, I'll eat with the same fork. That's what I do in my house. And I'm usually shirtless doing this too. I mean, look at these. It feels so good to make the community proud. Now I'll tell you the secret, man. Beyond the sauce, beyond the quality of shrimp, it's really about the sweater and the fork. Usually I do a fast spin, but I really want you to see everything that's going on. Each shirt tells a story. This is kind of like a silent section. I don't even want to speak on this. I just want to demonstrate. So as you see, all right, we have the whole bottom of the pan covered. Sauce on the bottom, sauce on the top. And then we get to the cheese. You know, I just realized I forgot a step. Generally, before I put the sauce on the shrimp, I squeeze a little lemon on them. I'm sure it'll work out the same. Fresh mozzarella. Same cheese, just shredded. One thing about the cheese is, I like to brown the cheese a little when we cook it. I like it like the color of Reggie Miller, a good golden brown. And here's when we get back to the steroid part of it. Get another layer of sauce on top of this. And we do the same thing again. Th this is a mess, you know? It's like a beautiful mess. It's, it's kind of like anything I make is not about being equal or symmetrical. There's about 600 shrimp in here. Again, take a look at this. Show what the respect it deserves, Jack. And we throw this into the oven, preheated at 350. We'll leave that in there for about 20 minutes. Shrimp palm on steroids, grand finale. Come on, celebrate, get excited. Ooh. Ooh. Let me tell you something, it tastes even better than it looks. A little chopped parsley, garnish purposes, black pepper, because it's on steroids. And there's really not even much more to say about this. Can we try it, can we eat? Same fork, let's rinse it. No soap, because you don't want to rinse off the history. Let's get this gorgeous corner right here. Oh my. I'm really proud of myself. I really am, I'm really proud of myself. 
everything's about energy, so if this sweater made me happy, it made the meal that much better. Look at a handful. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. Where?